So it looks good, fam. Looks like I'm in a old mansion. Feels like an old mansion. We are in Houston at the Icon. It's called Icon Hotel? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Icon Hotel. Um, I'll show y'all the room later. In our, our room, it feels like it's in an old mansion. The whole thing feels like a really, really old mansion. It is a historical building, but it feels like there's a bunch of hidden rooms. <laughs> uh, anyway, here's Angel. She ain't been talking to y'all. Have it. Make no sense. But we about to. Uh, there's a few little things that we forgot. Uh, just small stuff we forgot, so we're gonna run out to probably like a Target or something. Grab that stuff. Grab that stuff. We might hook up with uh, Kier and KP. Hopefully that works out. Blurry. Here we are, y'all. See, I ain't shaved. I gave my face. I've been giving my face a break because we're gonna head all these shows back to back, and I've been shaving back to back. Um, so I was giving my, not my head, they don't need a break, but my face definitely did. So I'm over here all scruffy and itching. Anyway. I'm with my husband and I love him. We work together. And he gave me some before we came downstairs. <laughs> y'all to see. I'm zooming in slowly but surely. Let's get past this yellow sign. Look at how big the moon looks. It looks bigger than the sun has ever looked in the sky. I mean which makes sense it's closer but still Sorry for all the moving. I'm trying to hold it still, but the road is bumpy. That thing is huge. Just wanted to show you. It's gorgeous. Oh, this is a beautiful summer night. So what's good, family? Still in Houston. Just wanted to show y'all this room real quick. Uh, just got done with the show. Show was off the hook. Wasn't a big fan of the venue at all. And it was horrible out of all the other venues. Anyway, so let's walk in. Of course, everything's got the red doors. It's got the old school sconces. You walk in, you got all this wood detail. It is night, that's why it's so dark. But even during the day, it's dark as hell. All this old school wood detail everywhere. There's a little closet right here. It's got a little bar section. Got your Keurig with your teas and coffee. Mirror. And then there's French doors right here to the bathroom. So I, I like the setup. It's actually a really nice hotel. I like it. You can see, tell how old it is though. But they modernized it to where it's like, this is a big shower to where it works for them. Um, big Angel's about to take her a bath, of course. Yeah, still got on my my uniform, my, my touring uniform. Watch this when I get home. We bought, I'm about to shower, she's about to take a bath. She got her bath salts and all that crap she's about to put in. Mm -hmm. Got the archways. This is just a wall of wood detail. That's her over there with the titties out. No titties, I just took off my lashes though. Just took off her lashes. Yes, I did. Um, bed, that's to the bathroom. All that just opens right up. To the bathroom. Anyway, it's the room. You, the view ain't really nothing. You just looking at buildings across the street. Little bitty TV. But anyway, crown molding and stuff. It's just, uh, yeah, it's just one of those places. I told Angela it reminds me of. Let me see if I can get this to focus. Focus, 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 focus. It's like that helps the camera focus. Let me see it. I told Angela it reminds me of like the the mansion on that movie Knives Out. I don't know if y'all seen that, but it's just like old. And it looks like there's a bunch of hidden like rooms. Like all of this looks like there's another hidden room back here, and some stuff opens that you wouldn't think open. But anyway, that's the room. We about to. We just ordered some food. 
I'm waiting on that food to come so I can go down there and get it. Then I can come up here, take a shower, put on my lotion and drawers, and eat and fall asleep. <laughs> Alright, fam. Fam. No. It's hard to do this to keep y'all up to date. Wait, with all the everything that's going on and doing everything that we got doing so we in uh chicago right now uh had a great show last night and before that we, we was in houston so we had a little bit of a break but we did the chicago show and uh, it's uh, a lot cooler here than what we thought it'd be but anyway we on our way to new york now um our flight is in like what two hours or something like that so yeah on our way to new york and after the new york show straight to atlanta literally like right after the show seems like um then this tour is gonna be done but it's been a lot are you saying that it's done i mean how you gonna feel i'm gonna feel just like i'm happy i'm happy i did it he's going to new york for the first time because of his tour I'll be in New York for the first time because, and I will be on tour. Uh, that's crazy. Yeah, never been to New York. My dad's from New York. I ain't never been. Uh, ain't one of the places that I decided to go when I was younger. And I ain't really had a reason to go in my grown up age. Uh, we, I, most places I went to was always south. I stayed in Atlanta and Florida. Oh, that's a lot of uh, anyway, so we about to, we gonna board this plane eventually. And uh, nah, I didn't even see the Chicago uh, air, uh, hotel. It was nice, but we was handling business or sleep. Cause this is exhausting. But anyway, fam, how the job. Now, while I didn't traditionally vlog, I did get a lot of footage of stuff. This is us in Houston in a smaller venue, but a great time and I just had all my skin out didn't I <laughs> she's cute this is us in Chicago also a great audience I got to see my sis Edie I haven't seen her in at least a decade this is my old assistant Nikki um, who helped us out in Houston we also went to the museum in New York the one well it's not a museum it's a library that they kind of converted into like a I don't know a museum of all things Jay-Z Victory and Marcus, this was their first time being in New York, so we acted like tourists. This is my good friend, Lucretia, who I've known since college. The famous Maddie James and our good friends, Shonda and Eric White. I also got to see my sands that a lot of them flew in and drove in. I love them to death. And this is the whole crew with the husbands that were there as well. We finally made it back to LA. We're so grateful. Uh, and then I had to do something for a uh, billboard as soon as I got back. And this is my husband being an ass, recording me asleep. This is him making snoring noises. This is not me. Promise. I don't snore like that. Nope. <laughs> so anyways, I'm back at work, exhausted. But the big treat is I got to spend time with my good friend Wendell's family. For those of y'all who don't know, Wendell passed away the day before we gave birth to the twins. He was our kid's godfather, one of two. We love him dearly. We're very close to his family, his stepdad, his mom right here, who he looked just like, and his baby sister, Valencia. Um, so we were glad that we got to spend time with them. What's good, fam? Uh, today is Sunday. Me and Angel, we went out to grab some brunch with, uh, actually we grabbed brunch with Victory to celebrate the end of the tour, being that we all had time. That was earlier this morning, so me and Angel just got back. On the way back, we went and uh, grabbed the, I wanted to keep it at the house, but we didn't have space, but now we're about to make enough space. We went to grab the emergency generator, because as y'all know by now, by the time you see this, there's a hurricane heading or that's hitting the coast of California right now. I'm not, ex we're not expecting really much other than just rain, especially where we live. Um, I know it's probably gonna get some high winds toward like the, the areas that are closer to the coast, but where we at, I'm only expecting rain. Uh, but as a precaution, I wanted to have the generator at the house anyway, but uh, it was in storage because we were purging clothes and stuff was taking up space. So I said, this is taking up room. So. Anyway, we're about to move all that stuff, but look at this. 
Look at him just chilling. Trying to get away from the water. And as y'all can see, the cushions are already being blown around the front yard. Winds still ain't that high though, but like I said, we're gonna do that with the garage door up and enjoy this light drizzle or heavy drizzle that we have right now. And uh, like I said, I'm not expecting much more than that. I'm expecting the rain to maybe get heavier, but yeah, I'm not too concerned. They're telling people to get food and water and prepare for power outages. I could be wrong, but I'm not expecting that, especially not in our area. Anyway, fam, holla back to y'all in a second. This is in the garage. I opened up the side door to the garage just so I could get a nice, it's a nice breeze coming through here right now. Um, the one thing I'm enjoying about this whole hurricane thing is the, hold on, it's too bright. The nice amount of rain we getting right now. It's so much, it's like a very steady rain. And y'all know we need it out here in California. God dang. Uh, so I'm definitely enjoying this part of it. Um, yeah, this is cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Right here, I don't want that. Hi! Yeah, I ain't seen her in a minute. I'm gonna start vlogging soon. Are you? Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. No, go on here. What's up? I didn't open y'all up. Got the babies here because we're celebrating. We are celebrating this young man's. Oh, what was that? Where is he at? He's over here. This young man's birthday party. His birthday. We're at a place called Valero. Calm down. Um, we got about 22 kids coming to bowl. And it's gonna be a good goddamn concert. Yeah. Amen and amen. Without this, <laughs> he couldn't stop that. Yeah. <laughs> you ready for your cake? Yes. Yeah. Have you had a good birthday party? Yes. Yeah. Your friends are wild. We could never do a birthday party of yours at my house because you would have no more friends. But I'm glad you had a good time. These two would be the only two invited. The rest would, yeah, no. Thank you so much. So the cake is on its way. Here is the pretty cake. Oh, this Mario here. Get y'all some cake, or if you want cookie cake, let me know. All right, cool. Put it on the thing. Hold on, let's let's move it right. Hold on. Okay, here we go. 
So the party is over and I learned a couple of things. First thing I learned. Did you leave it? Oh, I got some bro. Uh, first thing I learned is that I will never have a birthday party for my eldest son at my house. Ever. Them kids is too wild. Now, were they just acting like 13 and 14 year old boys? Absolutely. So. That's all right. I don't have to get my bottle. I'll just pull it right. Yeah. Okay. And then, third of all, trying to bowl post. Did you ever say second of all? No, second of all, trying to bowl, host, host, and vlog, impossible. So that's why y'all barely got any footage. Um, and then the third of all is this was a good idea. Uh, and the fourth of all is Marcus's friends are a piece of work. And yeah, he gonna have to be real Real particular about who he invites to the house. Marcus is a piece of work. Real particular. Did you have a good time? Huh? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. All right. I, I love to hear it. Too. You had a good time too. Yeah. Oh, that's so great. That's so great. <sighs> this pimple is pissing me off so bad. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. This pimple. Is making me so mad. Anyways, I'm trying to get back. I'm whispering because everybody's asleep upstairs. The kids are. Because we're trying to get them on a school schedule. Because they start back to school this week. So, I don't want to wake them up. I'm trying to get back into my routine. Which is having tea at night. I'm supposed to be in bed by 10 o'clock. I am an hour and 16 minutes behind. Oh, that's good. <clears throat> this is a... Uh, a la lavender honey tea um and this is uh one of joshi gonza's glasses <clears throat> what i would like to add to my nighttime routine is reading the problem is me watching tv with my husband is also really important time it's like a part of our quality time once the kids go to bed so we're watching um i can't say what we're watching because of the strike but it's a show about a religious family. That's a comedy. It's a satire. I absolutely love it. Anyways, um, tomorrow I'm gonna try to do my 5 a.m. workout. We have um, a podcast that we're gonna be on, but they're going to shoot it in our uh, facility at the, the Kevin's office, Kevin Melissa's office. And then we are also going to shoot our podcast and the twins have a doctor's appointment. So. The day's kind of busy at the top, but then it slows down. Um, we're going to take Marcus back to school shopping because his, bir uh, his birthday and the first day of school is Tuesday. So I don't know when y'all going to see this, but I'm vlogging again. And so we're going to get this footage up. So good night. I'll talk to you all later. Happy birthday. First day of school, first day of school. Your summer has been so long. It's time. You want to sleep for your extra seven minutes? Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. I'll just sit here and stare at you for seven minutes. Switching gears to our amazing twins who started a new school in Honey. They were so excited and they got 
lockers, okay? Who gets lockers in the third grade? The twins do. I did something special for them. I'll show you later on in the vlog. But here's a little montage of my pumpkin, Marcus. I just love this kid. He introduced me to motherhood. And I promise if he hadn't have been such a great child, there probably would have been no siblings. So we are just <laughs> so grateful to have him in our family. It actually turned out that the first day of school was his actual birthday. So we got him a shirt that said, it is my birthday and put up a little sign in the front yard. Um, and he had a great first day of school. We did a dinner for him and I will show you the footage from that. What's up guys? Um, this pimple pissing me off. Um, I should have been gone, but I am here still at the office. I had to post a brand deal, which I just got up, got the link sent over. Praise God, because that can be like a task and a half. And then I decided, you know what, Angel? What if you could go ahead and edit the vlog for tomorrow before you go home? I'll still edit a vlog for tomorrow. I mean, I'll still edit another vlog later on, but this will put me ahead of schedule so that I'm not up late because I didn't work out because I was up too late. Um, so that's what I'm finning to do is see if I can knock out a vlog real quick. Then I'm gonna shut everything down. Uh, today's Tuesday, so we shot the bald and the beautiful and here's the thing. Uh, and the twins were with us. That's the other thing I wanna do is uh, we visited the twins like, you know, their new school and they have lockers. So we can decorate the lockers. I didn't know. So I'm thinking about wallpapering Kai and size locker with something really cute that they would like. Maybe put some pictures in there. I'm mad because it would have been nice to have it ready for the first day of school. But I was not aware that I could do this. So I don't even know when I'm going to be able to make that possible. Like I don't have a clue on when that's going to be able to happen. Maybe maybe after their first day of school i don't know oh i gotta figure that out because that would that could work their first day of school is tomorrow which is wednesday will i be done shooting i think i'll be done shooting in time that when we go to pick them up we can pick them up park and then go over to their locker yeah i think that will work think that could work fingers crossed so I went to Michael's to get stuff to decorate sign Kai's locker and little Marcus is gonna help me I left my camera in the car and it's so hot I couldn't walk back it is it hurts it's so hot I feel my skin melting <laughs> so I'm walking he's asking who's not that is trying to figure out all the black stuff all right let me find my side. So here is Sai's locker. It says, good luck, Sai, when he opens it. It has Believe in the Power of Yet. I haven't done it yet. I'm not good yet. I don't know yet. I can do this. I can't do this yet. We did a little fringe in the back and just some pretty foil on the side. So I think we did pretty good with limited supplies. So here is Kai's locker. Both of them have hand sanitizer in their locker. His is thinner, so we just did the panels that way. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, you ready for your birthday dinner? Yeah. Let's go. Happy birthday to you. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. It's a 12 of minimum to make a reservation. Right. She's like, well, I don't know about that. I said, clearly. Where's your manager? Listen, the yard house tried to piss us off again, but nobody threw yard food. Yard house sucks ass. Right, Marcus was so mad at the menu choices that have the changed. The menu sucks too, man. Not just the yard house, but they menu is ass. Yeah. Yeah, he'd be mad. 
You see who came? Victory came. Nia came. Amar. My mother. Look at the girls. Greg and Kennedy. Madison. So we're coming over for cake. Yeah. We are? Yes. They want cake, so they're coming over. Pineapple pen, something like that. Pineapple, pineapple pen. I just want y'all to know my son enjoys spending time with me. I was like, you can sit in the car while I do this um, Amazon return. And he was like, he he didn't say anything. He just got out of the car. It was like, you know, it was that energy of like, mom, wherever you go, I'll go. <laughs> Look at him. And then he says he don't like the chain that, or he doesn't really care for the chain that I got him. But his hands have been on it the entire time I've been with him. His hands have been on it, twisting it, touching it. Yeah. Yeah, pimp. That was his birthday gift for me. 24 inch chain. I don't care. You don't have style yet. That's why you didn't ask for it, but one day you will. And you're gonna be like, I'm gonna wear my chain. That's, that's, I'm gonna fill in the gaps until you fill them in. And from you not, you touch it like you asked for it, is what I'm saying. Listen, shoot. All right, I don't know if y'all ever do this, but we do our Amazon returns in Coles. This music is loud, so I'm going to stop vlogging.